Long story short, pay somebody to do this. Good morning, welcome to Garage Garage. Going back to work on the G35, but look how pumped I am that my boy's car is still sitting here. Look at how fresh this thing looks right now. <sighs> Chair Slayer absolutely ripped this thing at final bout. You'll see some of that later. And then Hurt looking fresh too. Both the cars fresh off the trailer. <sighs> Woo. Anyway back to what we're doing. Last time you saw us working on the G35 getting uh, some body damage taken out of it and it still kind of looks a little hammered. We'll try and get that out but I've enlisted a little bit of help. Jose is back. He was just at uh, Formula Drift Round with Team Carnage Carney but he is back in town so I asked him if he'd come in and help me out. We're trying to get some uh, some lights mocked up into this thing, finish the rest of the hood stuff. Make sure everything's secure, and then we'll try and bang out some of this stuff to make it look a little nicer. But yeah, it needs quite a bit of loving. So we'll try and figure that out today. Glad to have some extra help. We're just gonna get right into it and start uh, making some progress because I plan on painting this very soon. We're trying to get it kind of back to normal. You've seen we crashed it quite a few times. <laughs> trying to make it look pretty so we can do it all over again. What you making, tabs? Tabs. So you got these little guys that are going to hold up the stuff on the headlights. And the other ones were broke off because we crashed it. Right now, Jose's making these tabs right here that'll bolt into this. Try and get more of a stock location for that. But you see this side, busted off. So probably gonna try and like straighten that out a little bit and then we'll poke some rivets through, make another bracket to make it look similar to that. And we'll put it in a stock location because we'll probably get a new headlight sometime in the future. Got some of that mother's new lens stuff. I want to try and scratch these up and then polish them out. See if we can make them look better because they look, they look like. While he's doing that, I'm trying to straighten out a little bit of, of the other stuff. And then I'm going to get started on making the back hood pins so we can hold this thing down. I almost forgot about that to be honest. So better do that right now before I forget. Than that uh, my car and Rob's car are in the same place looking good but I wanted to pop in and check on Garage Garage because I see something a little funny going on here. Greg, you're hey. <laughs> what you a little plastic one. <laughs> so what's the goal here? It's broke so I'm trying to make it one piece. And I'm going to shave it down and then put some rivets through it. Probably not going to work but it doesn't look like it's going to work but I respect I got the other end of it. There's, there's a big hole in it. I respect the hustle. Anyway, look at this. It's a bad idea that, well, not so bad. Not so bad. It works. I can hold the whole light, supported by it. Just melted a bunch of zip ties into it, heated that thing up, and melted it into place. That should work. We'll make uh, the bottom hold it a little bit better. So we'll just uh, drill in a bracket for that one. That's just kind of to locate the top. Let's be honest, it's going to get hit again anyway and just snap. So made it work. Welding with zip ties. are secure. They're in their place. Jose well, did a fine job making some tabs. Well, it's a little plastic. It kind of worked, but we're going to clean them up because they look terrible. So we're going to try this mother's new lens kit and uh, see if that works. Jose says it works. We got to clean some of this paint off of it first. So we just sand it down, throw a little polish on it. Hopefully they look like new and uh, probably be the nicest part on the car. All 
right, so that polish worked out pretty good. The lights are looking pretty sick. Probably uh, taking a little bit more time to do it. We kind of rushed through it, but they look really good compared to what we had. So now we're gonna continue on to doing the hood pins. And uh, these were the old bent up brackets that when we crashed, the front end was pushed over. So I cut that off. And the plan is to just bolt these back into where they are, which means we've got to take the fender halfway off. And then we'll pull the tab off of here and put the last hood pin sticking up right there. It's kind of hard to do and eyeball it, but we'll figure it out. Hood pins are on, lined up, first try. Not a big deal. Good job, Jose. Lucky yeah. guys. See, we uh, made some pretty good modifications today. Got the bumper secure, got the lights secure, got the hood secure. Well, it's a car again. We'll just keep knocking stuff out tomorrow. In a pretty good spot. We go home. Thanks. Yep. Ah, good morning. Time to start working on the G's body and make it look good. Gotta sand this thing down, but before we do that, these windows don't roll up. I'm gonna figure out how to get these windows rolled up so we don't screw that up. And then I'm gonna probably take the headlights and stuff back out, see if we can beat some of these dents out a little bit. And then we got some new supplies. We went on a little thing yesterday and grabbed supplies after we were done working. So got everything we needed to get a little bit of body work done. And I'm gonna start getting after it as much as I can. First things first, sand it down, maybe get a coat of primer on it. And then we'll go from there and see how bad the body is. What's up, Kyle? What's up, bro? What you got? I heard you're hungry. Oh, man. This is why. This is, man, this is why we're friends. Yeah. Because you're just a good dude. You're a good dude, bro. Looks good. Rotisserie chicken talk. Well, I'm going to eat this real quick and then get started. So I've been sanding this car for like seven hours. Casey helped me out a little bit, but man, there are so many layers of paint. Kind of underestimated how many layers of paint have gone on this. I think there's like literally seven layers of paint on it. So with 80 grit, wasn't cutting it, got it pretty close, I'm done. It's coming up on the weekend, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna call it for the day. Pretty, a pretty good spot. Kind of a crappy job today, but gotta get done. If you wanna do it yourself, we'll see you next time. KC, yeah. are you ready to go? I've been waiting for you all morning, bro. Could you pull that down so we can talk to you? Or? What do we got going on here? Well, Dan's at a different shoot right now. So he texted me to blow off all the excess paint with the air hose. Then we're gonna acetone everything and just get it ready for primer. Where's this acetone you speak of? Looks like it's from Breaking Brad. Breaking Brad? Yeah. Do you just wipe that on with uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, microfibers? Just, just put it on microfiber and just yeah. wipe it out? Okay, bud, we, hey, we got a schedule to keep. Let's get going.
How you doing? <laughs> Trying to teach Casey how to tape. All right, so what's the basics? Because I don't know how to tape either. Simple stuff is like, we want to keep some of this trim outline. Make it simple for this stuff here. Just start from the back and then fold that over so you can keep that trim. Normally you pull this trim out, but we're kind of on a tight time crunch for this. But I didn't have to tape all this, Casey. Good job. But you didn't have to tape it. We got other paper. stuff. We got paper <laughs> to tape all that off. Usually you just tape the edges, kind of something like this, and then you can take paper and cover the rest so you're not using a whole lot of expensive tape. Hey, it looks cool on the time lapse. Thank you, Casey, for thinking about me. Anyway, <laughs> some of this stuff in here, what you want to do is just kind of be able to tuck the edge of the tape underneath it and pull it real taut so it doesn't have any ripples in it. Flip it up, make it nice and smooth. So these lines won't have paint in it. When you pull it off, it also won't pull the paint off. So if you have anything hanging over like this, you know, that stuff can get caught on the paint and you might be peeling that off with it. This is the biggest thing to do with the car is prepping. Like this determines how your paint comes out, you know? So if you slack off on it, it's gonna have a bad paint job. We need to cover up the wheels. We need to cover some of these holes. Well, let's get to it, boys. Well, G35 is leaving, headed off to get some paint, proper paint. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, so we're sending it off to somebody who does know what they're doing and give us a little lesson when the G35 comes back, it will look good. Not what it looks like right now. Dodgers, Cardinals. Dodgers, Cardinals. Dodgers. Count your rings, boy. Count your rings. 